That is a true Majima fight, both down to 1% HP. Gordon Bennett. Da, 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 no, no, sorry, sorry. It's Majima. Much better. Uh, that contraption looks like it fries your brain while it empties your wallet. Pretty much, pretty much. Did you get anything from the experience? Great Scott, did you get anything from the experience? Yeah, it feels like something has been burned into my brain. Like, I get some kind of inspiration from the moves my opponent was using. I learned smoke break. Take a moment for a leisurely smoke right in front of your opponents. Learn by watching Mashima laugh in IF7. Activation method. Press the down button while unarmed. Oh, that's cool. You appear to have learned a new fighting move. What a fascinating phenomenon. There may be more techniques you can learn. Come back any time you wish to try again. Awesome. I will, as soon as I've gone and saved the game, because I am not doing that again. Also, cheers, Drago. My glass is now empty. However, I also have a can. So, fantastic. Oh, yikes. GG, but kind of slow motion. Slow motion? Fight, or did the stream just randomly slow down again? Because I am still getting a lot of encoder lag issues. Apart from now, where the game is just sort of... There is Kiryu and Doc Brown have a smoke break. Nothing's happening. No complaints from the system. So I can only assume what's happening is... That everything is working fine, but somewhere along the chain, OBS just assumes that there's an encoder lag issue. It might be with my Elgato, to be honest. That's a point. When I when I upgrade my computer, I'm definitely switching out the capture card for something else. Um, the stream slowed down a bit. Uh, yeah, that'll probably be the encoder lag. I don't know. I can't figure it out. The only thing else I can do is I just lower the quality from 720p, and I'm a bit against doing that, to be honest. No, I don't know. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Unless the encoder chip on my GPU is dying, in which case I'm stuffed. I'll have to stop streaming for a bit. Right, let's go and find a save. Which is miles away in any direction I look at it. Just so I don't have to do the Majima fight again if something untowards happens. Great timing, at least. Nah, yeah, that is a fair point. But I don't know. Oh, actually, while I'm at it, just because my wallet yes, isn't empty enough at this point, we've unlocked stamina royales. Nice. One, two, three, four. Oh, right, we can just start burning through Stamina Royale, then. Right, there we go. 
There we go. Whoop. Oh, right. He's down. Marvelous. I'm going to have to nip in here and heal. Marvelous. Oh, that's us fully healed. We're going to walk out this building now and get into another fight. Just watch. Oh, God, Bennett, now what? Xenoboss. That Iwakama is out of control. He actually picked a fight with Tobita when he came to the Dragon Palace. Tobita's a cut above him, so it wasn't long till he sent Ikawama flying. But nonetheless, Ikawama's pretty good himself. Thank you so much. This homeless fellow who lives behind Millennium Tower told me something interesting. It seems there's a formerly, former Yakuza who left his family and went into hiding. Since my enemy's enemy is my ally, I'd like for you to get him to be my bouncer. In exchange, I'll guarantee his anonymity. Supposedly, you can find him in the alley of Takiachi Street. You wouldn't mind finding this former Yakuza and seeing if he's a bouncer material, would you? Yeah, sure, we can do that. But first, we're going to save the game and then go back to see Doc Brown and get ourselves, our backsides, beaten by a digital reconstruction of a very dead uh, Chinese triad boss. No, I think it's triad. Chinese mafia, at any rate. No. 
Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Ah, crud. These goons are just relentless, aren't they? <laughs> Oh wow, I took them both out at the same time. Okay, sure. Alright, go and take out the Jin One Mafia person now. Let's see how painful this one is. Avenging Berserker. The Avenging Berserker. This character is based on opponents who seems to have hated you immensely. This hatred seems to have affected the simulation unpredictably. I'm rather curious to see what just effect this will have. Do you wish to fight to the Avenging Berserker? Yes. Well, bye bye money. And take me ages to build up all my funds again. Oh, there's three of them. Fantastic. What am I supposed to do with this one? You have to be aggressive except with the except with the spear version. So basically go after the yeah. Go after the claw in the marsh the claw in the bare hand and just oh this is gonna be painful, isn't it? Right.
Right. This is going to be not fun in the slightest. I am doing no damage to these guys. I'm going to have to come back to this when I'm full leveled, aren't I? The thing is, in this game, I don't... Uh, one, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tr stop trying to do that at this point. But, in this game, the way the leveling system works, it doesn't feel like I'm actually making any major progress. <laughs> oh, I've got four different level bars. It doesn't... It's, uh, it's a really bad le design leveling system. Oh, well, whatever. So yeah, I'll come back when I've got a bit more strength to me. So, in the interim, because I'm not going to be able to defeat them anytime soon, let us go to the bars and see if we can find this police officer, and then failing that, the... was there something else I needed to do? Oh yeah, the bouncer mission. Hey, I'm almost done. Any police officers in here? Nope. Okay, bye. Let's try shellac. Nope. Right, only other bars I can think of are Serena, which I doubt the person at the chap will be in, and... Uh, the... Bantam pub. I'll try and go there. Not Serena. No, we wouldn't be Serena. So it'll be Bantam down by the Millennium Tower. Ooh. As I have to fight yet more goons. This is starting to get annoying now. Let's 
especially the stones. The thing is, it doesn't flower as well, because I get a few hits off on them and then they just start blocking. So it's a case of, oh well, I'll just wait and do a tiger drop, but then they just stand there bouncing in front of me. Oh wow, he's got a lot of H, uh, a lot of health. A lot of HP. There we go. And then they just start grappling me. You're gonna hate this. It has to be night for the detective to appear in chapter 12. Oh, right. Is that the same for any of them? Well, at least you told me now before I drove myself mad looking for them. Is that the case for all of them? I mean, now I'm gonna have to go around the restaurants instead to see if I can find this one of these waiters. Oh, that's tiny. Um. Well, instead, let's go and do some of the. Oh, was it? Oh. Oh. Lotus gives hints. Ah, cool. Actually, why didn't I think of the flowers? So basically, beating Majima just gives us the ability to make Kiryu look cooler than he is. <laughs> Light up a smoke and then stomp the guy's head into the pavement. Works for me. Well, apart from the smoking bit. Don't smoke it. It's bad for you. Yeah, there's two more. Right, so we've got Samajima, the Gunmaster, and Lorenz, the C Caucasian Panther. Okay, sighted near the Millennium Tower. That's nearby. There aren't all bars in the restaurants either. Oh, okay. I'll go and talk to the florist then. Smoking is bad, but stomping heads is good? I saw it in a video game, it must be true. I should also probably go in here. What if I talk to the detective dude again? Hello. Oh, curious, Sam. Did you find anything? Uh, no, nothing conclusive yet. I see. Still, I guess our only option is to talk to everyone related to the case. My notebook should have information on everyone who was involved in the incident. Give it a look when you get the chance. Yes, I've already done that, and it didn't really tell me much. Oh, well, I'll take another look at it, I suppose.
Uh, waitress cafe up. Relationship. Already ended shift for that day. Waitress at cafe Alps. Cleaning. Discovered Oda's body. Witnessing a catch at the scene. Present on the day. Was closing the register at the time of the murder. Get your sister attending a famous private school for girls. Plans to skip college and work post graduation. Uh, believes brother is innocent. Distributes flyers asking anyone for a trip. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't tell me an awful lot, does it? That's me healed at least. Right, so. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to do the next bouncer mission. Nani? Ah. Uh. The pun is awesome, man. Look at that building. I wonder how many stories it is. It is sand. Why are, you try, why are you trying to accomplish it? I'm looking at one of Ken Rocha's famous landmarks, the Millennium Tower. In one of the rare instances where it's not been blown up. Uh, can I help you with something? You're the Reaper, Lorenz, aren't you? That sure am, and you're Kazuma Kiryu-san. Wait, how do you know my name? I came in to learn about the Tojo clan. You're the four boss, right? You're just the guy I've been looking for. I was hoping I could talk to somebody in the know. What about? I'm looking for information on the Tojo clan only somebody like you would know about. If you know what I mean. I'm not in the business anymore. If you want inside information, ask somebody else. It's not gonna cut it. Chances are, like this, don't come along every day, you know. If you don't want to talk, I'll just have to make you. Oh, he's got a katana. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Fast. Then we don't go. This is a stupid mechanic as well. Right, there we go. Uh, Hector. Yeah, not half bad. No wonder the Tojo clan made you one of their bosses. I'm not with the Tojo clan anymore, so you can stop calling me one of their bosses. Still, I'm surprised you were able to you to see you wielding a katana. When it comes to slicing and dicing, you can't do any better than a Japanese katana. I thought I'd seen a lot of them when I came to Japan, but there don't seem to be many around. They're not all that easy to get a hold of. I guess not. Well, it looks like I blew my chance to learn about the Tojo Clan. Did you join the Reapers just so you could learn about the Tojo Clan? That's right. I heard that they were fighting that the that they were fighting the Tojo Clan. I thought I could learn some cool stuff. And they say Kamurocho is the best place to get information, so that's why I came here. What are you going to do with the information? I wasn't trying to start any trouble. I was just interested in the world of the Japanese underground. I see. Well, come with me to the HLA for now. Maybe you can learn a few things about the Tocho clan there. If your interest in the clan is merely just curiosity, then that's the place for you. Hey, that sounds great. I owe you one. 